In this God of War short, the team reacts to Corey Barlog leaving in 2007. Take a look. Uh, Corey Barlog, who's our creative director, uh, has given us two week notice. Next Friday will be my last day at Sony Santa Monica. The bomb was dropped. It was somber and everyone was quiet and no one said anything and perhaps there was a tad bit of shock. It's killed me because I, re I really didn't want to say something but it's just nothing you can say is going to come across as anything but you're an asshole. When I heard that Corey was going to leave was uh, kind of annoyance more than anything. It's, you know, it takes a long time to make a successful team as much as a successful product. It's always a pain when a key person in that team decides to move on. First emotion we felt was just shock. Didn't didn't see it coming, didn't expect it. It's like dropping a bomb. Well, it was disbelief, obviously. I thought he would be the last one to leave. Incredibly bummed out, like very, very yeah. disappointed. You know, you're never really prepared for something like that, <laughs> you know? Uh, they don't warn you very well either. They just kind of spring it on you. It was kind of a bit of a shock. I, I never expected that Corey would leave the project, so. But uh, once, once the initial shock died down, I, I couldn't help but being a little bit happy for him So because he was getting to try new things. It kind of puts us in a little bit of turmoil for now, but I think we'll, we'll work it out. I'm glad he has the balls to stick to whatever it is that he wants, but I'm also a little pissed that he's leaving us in the lurch, just kind of like holding the bag. I mean, I know I want to be here. If he needs to be someplace, someplace else, that's what he's got to do. Um, and I think it's better that it happened at this stage in the project than a year from now, obviously. It obviously is a very difficult choice and a difficult time and, and not a very happy choice to be making. But, you know, on the horizon, the, the doors are opening. Of course, it's, it's hard to imagine someone stepping into Corey's shoes. He's, he's amazing. Many people wondered whether we could do God of War II without David Jaffe, who did God of War I, and I think we succeeded at that. Um, I think we can succeed at creating a third version without Corey Barlock. I think it's kind of neat, actually. A different director for each chapter.